You all feel as fucking hungover as we do. Right? We are drunk, every one of you, you fucking pussies. Oi! Thanks so much for tuning in to watch this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new punk rock videos every week and tap the bell to get notified when new videos drop. My name is Aaron Miklo and I'm here at Rebellion with Pizza Tramp. Introduce yourselves. Hi. Uh, I'm Denzel. <laughs> I'm Why Matt. aren't you happy about being called Denzel? Do it with some, with some consideration and thought. Denzel. Uh, I, I'm Denzel, that's it. Oh, you're going to be Denzel. What's your name? I'm uh, Digmuth McFuggle. That's Digmuth <laughs> McFuggle, and I'm uh, Bruce. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the fake names. <laughs> known as a party band and in the short time that I've met you you guys are hilarious and you seem to have a good time <laughs> yeah oh look they're ruining the interview there's we no got, need for that Liam we just got flash an asshole yeah there's people like getting their assholes like behind <laughs> the interview it's fucking childish we wouldn't do anything like that sorry Aaron, we've friend? already ruined yeah no they're not <laughs> our friends they're not our friends <laughs> there's some shit poser band that are playing later <laughs> Sorry, yeah, we, we got a reputation as being a party band because we're better at drinking than every other band on earth. Especially the Rotten Foxes. Especially the Rotten Foxes, yeah. Oh, shit. Like, we're really good at drinking. I see that. So you guys had a good time last night. You got in last night and went pretty hard here at Rebellion. Yeah, yeah, we ruined... He went, he went pretty fucking hard at Rebellion. Yeah, we all got really drunk. He, he was probably right. the most drunk I've ever seen him. I'm fine. I managed to smash that much glass on a dance floor that they shut the dance floor off so the band had to play to no one and everyone had to go around the barrier around the outside and no one was allowed near the band. So that ruined Billy Club set. <laughs> that was fun. I was burping now. <laughs> yeah, I'm alright, yeah. Well, so aside from being a party band though, you guys also have a reputation for literally ripping on stage and putting on an amazing show. Oh yeah, we're better than everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes we're better than everyone. We're like, if we're quite drunk, we're really good, but then we get really drunk and it goes wrong then. But we're usually we're better really than every band. We're not good. Yeah, no, all right, we're always better than every band. Yeah, we are, yeah. So even at Wonk Unit, that was the first time I was introduced to you just last week in London. I couldn't even get in to see your set because it was at capacity and nobody, oh, yeah. nobody was coming out. Yeah, oh, that was good, wasn't it? It was <laughs> fucking good, yeah. Yeah, it was... <laughs> We usually play upstairs at Wonkfest. We did downstairs this year, and it was like whatever the capacity was. Yeah. Everyone was watching Guns and Wankers, so everyone who watched them couldn't get into watch us, though. It was ultra carnage, wasn't it? Yeah, it was chaos, yeah. We had the inflatable pizza slices with having crowd surfing on them. Yeah, yeah so what fun. is that about? Obviously, it's because the name of the band, so yeah, you want to... Uh, we just like people oh, hurting themselves. Like, like, yeah, the pizza, we'll get it at the... It's in the van. We've got one for today, but we haven't inflated it yet. Oh, shit. The last year, I think, like, three people broke their arms in our set, <laughs> and we do like people getting hurt, like, and it gives them something to remember us by then, doesn't it? They get free merch, though. Yeah, they get free... Anyone who breaks an arm in our set gets free merch. So we had to send all the merch out to the yeah, people who broke their arms. Uh, this song is a song about a girl who can see the future, but she can't really, because she does not exist, because I made her up to slag the toys off for two minutes. It's the Hallin, it's called Clear Voyance.
are a newer band. You've been around for maybe four or five years. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, nearly five years now. Yeah. So how did you guys come together to form the band? I mean, you obviously had a lot of attention in such a short amount well, of time. We were all from a little town, and we all knew each other when we were younger. We all played in different bands, and then we went on for years about starting a band, and then me and Sam at the pub got pissed and was like, should we start that band that we've been talking about for 15 years? So we did. Went and found Dan in work, dragged Dan out of retirement and went and played drums for about 10 years. Started the band and then like within one practice we realised we were really good. And then we had to keep going. We was only going to do one gig, yeah, weren't we? That, that was, it's gone horribly fucking wrong. Yeah, we was going to do yeah, one really gig has. and then break it up. Did, but it, then, did, it didn't pan yeah. out as it should have done. Yeah, we sold out <laughs> immediately because we was going one gig and breaking up. And then we've done about 300 now. So, so what was wrong. your first gig and, and how did it go? We played like, just to our friends like in Chapsworth in South Wales. And it was everyone told us we were brilliant, but it was all our friends. We were like, oh, they're going to say that. Yeah. And then it turned out that everyone else liked us as well, so we carried on going. We're just ripping off our like, 80s hardcore bands and no one really brings it up, except me who just brought it up right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're fucked now, yeah. So how did it get started for you guys to start getting booked on actual legitimate shows after that first one? Oh, we just... Well, we recorded Played an evening. Every yeah, gig. everyone every asked gig us to do yeah, a gig, gig then we, we just say asked. yes Never to everything. No, we just said yes. And then before we... No. Hello, brother, don't you start about... It. We can't do interviews, see, because we're that underground, everyone's just walking past laughing at us for doing a real interview. <laughs> Because we're not known for this. You're going to put me off now. I'll chuck this can at you. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate you. Well, so you guys are also kind of known, aside from the drinking, for the drug, like, like your shirt here. You say the drugs, then. Yeah, for the drugs. For the drugs. But I feel like also that's kind of a more widely talked about thing here in the UK and, and Europe as opposed to America. And do they America. not take drugs in America? No, they do, but I feel like people not are more much. like... Maybe not as much, and maybe people, they, they're not so open about it, whereas here, everyone's just oh, like, no yeah, woo! Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> like we your shirt. that the more we talk about it, that we like drugs, the more free drugs we get, <laughs> like, the more people give us drugs. So it's worked quite well. We keep going on about drinking and drugs, and then everyone just gives us stuff all the yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah, it works for you. It works for me, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I've so, got the magnet for it, like. But on a serious note, do you ever think about how that might be influencing some of your younger fans? You know, it, I think. That, well, oh, no, now you've put me on a guilt trip. Now, Hopefully no, not. I mean everyone should do what they want to do. But well, ha- should, do you ever? Yeah, yeah. but you should <laughs> be responsible should until you're eight. <laughs> yeah, everyone should do drugs. Right, if anyone who's young that likes our band are listening, don't do drugs until you're 18 years old. No, yeah, no one should do. As many as you want. Yeah, yeah, basically. Oh no, I never thought about it like that. Do you ever think about? I don't know if it's common in your friend circles, but in my friend circles, I have had quite a few friends that have overdosed i mean i guess in america heroin is more common which is a very oh, dangerous oh yeah drug. we don't condone drugs like that no we're just talking about light drugs yeah no oh yeah no, <laughs> what no, is no, a no, light heroin. drug to What's you light? everything except heroin paracetamol yeah. <laughs> yeah no everything is hi mate yeah. everything except heroin isn't it oh he's gonna do a song called abh weren't we anything but heroin like, yeah. yeah that's right we'll Right, yeah, we'll write it on the it. stage later on. Yeah, yeah, we'll just make it up. No, we don't condone anyone else taking drugs. We just like taking them. Yeah. Ever, no one else should do them. They should just give them all to us. We should have an amnesty box <laughs> on the stage. Put all your drugs in here. <laughs> and we'll dispose of them accordingly. Like. Drug yeah. testing box. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll <laughs> test your drugs to see if Yeah, right. we'll test. I'll test them all. Right. <laughs> album that you guys released this year actually sold out very quickly and um have you repressed it i saw that you yeah. ran out yeah. of the vinyls yeah no yeah it's repressed now we got yeah we got on yeah we have pictures this is sold out but we got on vinyl and cd you can buy it on our band camp page right now <laughs> yeah we still got it we've got it but we just haven't got the picture disc anymore now was that we, your first record to kind of do that and have that reaction out of, of as yeah, opposed well, to the other ones yeah the last well the last one sold out but it took like three years to sell the last one yeah the, the, the last one just just sold out this one sold out straight away so it was a bit better but yeah i think oh, yeah we do we do quite well on it we sell quite a lot of stuff yeah 
But well, yeah, we do. I don't know what I was going, where I was going yeah, with that. Lost, yeah, lost yeah, I've lost it. Yeah, no, but it did. But it's re we've got it again. Yeah, we've got we've got it again now. The new one, it's back. We've got everything for a change. We're like stocked on merch today for the first time ever. No one will buy anything today now. Every rebellion, we sell out and have no nothing to sell. And this year, we got loads and no one will buy anything. I think people will buy. They might do. We might be terrible, though, because we're quite drunk. <laughs> oh, no. Well, so how was that for you guys? You know, what was the reaction like when you sold out of that? I mean, was it surprising for you or was it just I a think, moment where you kind I of felt like you arrived? Like, I don't know. We sort of shit our pants because we didn't have any more to sell. <laughs> so we were like, yeah, fuck, yeah, we, we like, need some it was more. Because we ordered it, but we didn't have any of them. So that was a pain in the ass. But it was all right. It was nice, though. It was nice that people was buying it. Yeah. It's nice, yeah. I mean, that's really flattering, and that is a, a big deal, you know? Yeah, it was. It was really good. Um, and we made loads and loads of money, obviously. And that's not important, but we made loads of money off it. Oh, shit. And we bought a van with it, sure yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. We, we bought a van with the money. Yeah, well, that's we awesome. Fine. So then you're able to kind of do more tours easily. Yeah, yeah. Well, we had a van, but they always break. So now we've got a good van now. We've got a van that doesn't break every week now. So we're wait. locked out of all the time. So you mentioned that you don't normally drink. Does that mean you're normally the driver? I, I drive us home most of the time. Yeah, Dan <laughs> drives us home. Right? Yeah. Me and Sam will drive us here, and then he just stays sober. That way, I haven't got to find the venue or parking. All we've got to do is hit home on the sat nav, and that's fucking easy. Yeah. just got to find your ex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't remember going home from a gig for about three years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So how did you guys come up with the name Pizza Tramp? Oh, this is Scott. Oh, um, so I was in uh, Italy. Uh, on holiday and I went to like this bakery thing bought a load of pizza and there was this uh, this homeless guy sat there on the floor he's like, he's like asleep so I had fucking shit loads of pizza left over so I went over and give it to him and he just started he just started shouting at me in Italian like just giving me loads of grief but I didn't have a clue what he was saying yeah so uh, yeah and then we wrote a song about it and then, uh, yeah, we didn't. We had, a, had the gig, didn't we? And we didn't have a name, so yeah, yeah we, we got booked to play a gig, but we that. didn't have a name. So we, yeah. I hated it. I, I thought it was a shit. I like it now. I thought it was Fucking shit. Good. It's a bit late now. Well, yeah, it? I thought it was shit. It was like we do one gig and then change the name, and we didn't. But it's, it is a good name now, and everyone else likes it. Well, everybody loves it. pizza, and it, yeah. it, it makes a good logo for you guys. Yeah, we used to like cook pizza and give it out in the crowds and all, but we stopped doing that. It's just got expensive now. Yeah. Now more, you just have the pizza float. Yeah. When it was like <laughs> three people coming to the gigs, it was easy. <laughs> now we can't do it anymore. It's got really expensive doing that. Yeah. So what else do you guys have coming up for the rest of this year? We're playing with HR next week. Are you really? Yeah. That's amazing. We just met him. We yeah, seen you him were saying chips. that. Yeah, we're, we're, like, we're yeah, playing Boomtown like, next yeah, week. Boomtown, and then it's like I think it's like every weekend. I don't think we got a weekend off. Yeah, we uh, just like do every Friday and Saturday night. Uh, going to Europe with our mates Haste in October. East, uh, Fucking East, like, yeah, Scotland. We got Norway booked up for next year. Awesome. We're coming to America next year. Are you really? Where yeah. are you playing? I don't know. Whenever yeah, Labor no, Day no, is. No, sure. It's like in August or September, they've, we're getting flown out there. Yeah, we're going to do a tour, but we haven't, like, we meant to sort it out, but we haven't. So but it's we not are locked going. in yet? It's not locked in. It's happening, but we haven't bothered sorting it out because we're really fucking lazy. West Coast. So, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, I think people will really like you guys out there. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Well, that's all I have for today, so thank you guys so much for, for taking the time. Thank you for speaking to us. <laughs> we're Pizza Trump, and you're, and watching, you're watching Last, Last Rockers TV. TV. It's terrible. Peace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>